there's something under the bed. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Something's Under the Bed podcast. I'm here, uh, always, with my two co-hosts. Marky. <laughs> Obi. Obi. Sorry. And I am Hernandez. <laughs> I am Hernandez. And uh, yeah, we're just doing a, this our festive Christmas episode. Ho- happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Um, Obi, Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? No, far from it? No. You remember I'm Middle Eastern. <laughs> It's all the same. Uh, no, I think Kwanzaa is in January, actually, which is hilarious. It is, yeah. yeah it's in <laughs> it's January. far from it. Yeah. No, Johnny, my son wants to do Kwanzaa, so we're going to really? do Kwanzaa. Oh, that's awesome. It's, it's fun. What yeah, traditions, yeah. like, what are they doing Kwanzaa? It's, it's honestly, it's anyone can do a number one. Okay. Uh, number two, it's really just about family getting together, remembering, and having a, just, like, um, community and, and, like, um, bringing together and, like, food and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It's just, it's really just a communal thing, you know. Okay. It's, it's really, it's just really sweet. I never knew. I thought it was way more complicated. No, you guys doing Christmas still, right? Oh, we're doing Christmas. Traditions, yeah, we're doing the Christmas, and you know, just um, we go over to my parents, and it's fun, (laughs) I guess. It's just it's Christmas is I'm always so exhausted at the end of Christmas, and the kids. It's obviously for the kids, you know, we love the kids, but it's always so exhausting, and that's why I'm so glad I get the day after Christmas off. That's amazing. I was going to have to go to work, but they changed it they last did. minute. We were going to get that Friday off randomly. Christmas is weird this year. It's weird. It's, weird. it's on a Monday, and they're giving us that Tuesday off. So that's, yeah, you know. I took um, the Friday before Christmas. Okay. And then that entire week of Christmas. And then, obviously, we have New Year's Day off. So I'm off from the 22nd to the um, 2nd. Oh, yeah, January. second. Yeah, the second. Oh, nice. Yeah, you shit. lucky bitch. Yeah, I planned it that way. No, that's smart. I'm that's jealous. smart. I'm, no, I'm seriously jealous. Yeah. I'm seriously jealous. No, um, I have to go back into work on the 26th. <laughs> I would have had to work on the 26th. I have to. I yeah. was going to, too, and I, was, I wasn't really caring, and then the second they said we had it off, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a better but idea. But they gave us for New Year's, they gave us the second off or the yeah the second oh, oh that's yeah. nice oh so that's we're off that Monday Tuesday that Friday so we have a little bit longer oh okay that's yeah. not bad though no. see I don't get that Friday I get that Saturday Sunday obviously the weekend and then I get Monday Tuesday and then from New Year's no one gives a shit we just get that day off that Monday I, I don't really give a shit about New Year's either way yeah. But anything in particular you guys do, you make sure you do on Christmas Day? Special meal? Um, um, special Ch- movie? Chen normally cooks ham. Oh, yeah. Gotta have ham. Yeah, he, gotta have he, ham. he makes ham and all the sides. It's normally just us. It's me and Chen and yeah. Peyton. And then Peyton leaves to go with her um, dad's side of the family. Mm. And then it's just me and Chen. But last year, his family came over. That was fun. Um, oh, you can hear that truth. Yes, you can yeah, hear. Can I'm sure that. you should be an actress. <laughs> well, this year yeah, I think they're probably coming good. over. Again, this year? So. Oh God! Um, Make sure the alcohol is refilled. It's all good. It's all. Good. I'm gonna get really high and vibe. That's they won't sure. be able to bother you. But um, they won't be able to bother every you. Christmas we watch. It's a wonderful life. Wonderful life. Okay. That's uh, that's Ashton's uh, favorite that's, movie, right? Christmas because movie. of me, I really? introduced it to him. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think, honestly, he really likes Love Actually, too, though. I actually heard him say that the last yeah. time we hung out. I've yeah. never seen that one. Love it's, Actually. Oh, you'd yeah. love it. Like you'd it. love it. It's I think he excellent. would like it. It's excellent. It's on Netflix. It's romantic. It's a romance. It's, yeah, it's romance, but oh, there's but a, lot but a lot of heart. A lot of heart. But they shit. They shit on America so much because okay. it's a British movie. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, and it's fine. American can take it. Um, what do they call that girl fat? Awesome. Uh, that's I. Maybe we should have an episode on that, uh, that movie because that is one. Yeah. They, they they talk about this girl, Mark's correct, mm-hmm. and they just there's like it's not like they say it to their face except the family. The family yeah. calls her Tubby. That's her nickname. <gasps> she is not, not fat. fat. <laughs> not not fat. fat. Now is she disgustingly anorexic thin? No, no. thank God. But she uh, she is not fat, and they constantly say like Hugh Grant's the prime minister, and he'll be like. Hey, what's Madeline? On? Madeline. Oh, the chubby girl, right? And he asked, he con- the only thing I like about it is he constantly has this look on like, like we call what? her chubby. chubby. Every, because he says it several times. Like now I'm, I'm eager to see who you guys are talking about. Um, she is so, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, when you get a chance, uh, but who? yeah. It's great. It's That's great. Kira Knightley? No. Yeah, it's Kira Knightley. They call her like, fat, so. <laughs> No, Kira Knightley is. That girl. Oh, Okay. No, Obi, she's not fat. She's not fat. Oh, okay, no, thank God. No, I thought you were no. going to be like, oh, okay, all right, she's a little Well, like, thick. now I'm kind of, <laughs> like, I'm fat. <laughs> Obi, you I'm don't fat. think you're fat, 
But and unfortunately, they, if you were in that movie, you would be. They obese. would call you. Obese. Oh, we love Ob. She had the chubby one. Like. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. No, that's the only problem I have with that whole movie. They call her fat a lot. Anyway, um, Love Actually, that's a good one. Obi, what's what's a real, you know. Um, what, quick what's... traditions, you know, it's half, we split the day, and then we nice. all come together at night. Nice. We do dinner with my ex, his wife, his grandfather. You know, it's pretty simple. So I have the moment to just kind of have to myself and kind of get together. And... Is there like a specific meals you guys always do? Um, or is it just whatever, just a big meal, hot? So ready? this year I'm cooking along with my, uh, well, my ex's uncle. So nice. he's kind of doing the main stuff, like uh, we're they're just doing turkey. Oh, beautiful. Um, beautiful. And, um, and sides. So I'm doing deviled eggs, baked mac and cheese. Hell yeah. And then like Please. cauliflower, like uh, oh, cheesy cauliflower. nice. Yeah. So I'm doing those. So hopefully everything works out. I still haven't perfected my baked oh, mac and it's cheese. Fine. It's fine. Oh, wait. We're trying. Are you really trying? It's, oh, it doesn't taste bad. It never tastes bad when right. I make it. It does not taste like like the southern mac and cheese. Like I've you had. want it to sure. taste. Exactly. It's almost like a baked Alfredo. I'm not going to lie. I'm messing up I somewhere. like baked mm. Alfredo. I love baked Alfredo, The problem too. is, is yeah, you, you, I get what you're saying. It doesn't reach your thing, but it's either a little this or a little that. It ends up being yeah. somewhat. It's good. I like baked Alfredo. I mean, when you said that, I just got hungry. It was no, it's always good. It's, um, it's always a hit, but it's not. I'm always like, oh, this is not. It's uh, to me. I think it's the color. Yeah. It's not yellow. Oh, enough. really? Yeah. Okay. It's not yellow enough. Like what hmm. I've seen because when we went out to Texas, we had baked mac and cheese there, sure. and it was yellow and cheesy. Are they using super hard yellow cheese? I don't know. Maybe like are they using craft? That oh, no, craft they, slices? She, used, she buys this expensive cheese. Like oh. I refuse to buy $8 box of cheese. I can't stand when I see expensive cheese. No, you I can can't make a it. really good mac and cheese with cheap cheese. Exactly. You can't. Oh, well, that's exactly. what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. I believe it. I think this is the year. This is the year. Yeah. I feel good about it, you know, so this is the year. If all those people just use yellow dye, get some yellow dye. I'm right. at this point, I am. <laughs> just, you know, just for visual sake for you. Sounds for like me. everyone else is having a good time. Everybody else food. has a good time. Nobody has yeah. an issue. Yeah. It's for me. Is there a holiday movie that you, 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 you kind of... Lean on uh, it. You just kind of the basics. We always have like holiday, like Christmas story, Christmas story White classic. Christmas, yeah. Um, yeah. pretty much the Grinch, you know what I mean? Yeah, a classic. Just, just classic like a set of classics. Yeah, yeah, nothing specific. I, I'm the same way. We, Me and my, Chris and me and my wife, she, we start right after Thanksgiving just watching random movies. Like we watch The Home Alones already, we oh, watch yeah, The Grinches. Um, I like to watch my random ones too, like the horror ones. Like I, yeah. um, uh, but uh, I do Lethal Weapon, Die Hard, Die Hard 1 and 2. Those are not Christmas movies technically, was... but they have Christmas in them. <laughs> oh, it no. all happens. Die Hard, Die Hard, well, Bruce I'll, Willis I says will it's die not. on that hill. That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, I agree, but Hebrew Hammer, have you guys ever seen that one? Never. It's about a Jewish um, private eye who does uh, good in his okay. neighborhood, and Santa's son is evil and wants to just make it a white Aryan Christmas, and he kills his father. Uh, the Sun is played by Andy Dick, and it's all about the Hebrew hammer trying this to fight, the, to fight the son Andy of Dick. Santa. Andy Dick. That's this him. This is T. Andy okay. Dick. No, okay. I'm not going to lie. Okay. He's really hilarious in it. This was definitely during the Coke phase. I mean, what, what part wasn't? Um, but he hadn't gone off the rails. It's like 2004. Was there ever a time there wasn't a Coke phase? I think when he was doing that Get Smart thing, he was in the Get Smart show. They rebooted mm. the show in the, okay. in the late 90s, 98, and I think he was pretty clean, and I think he decided that was enough. He was like, this is enough of that. We should do coke all the time. I like Andy Dick. I think he's hilarious. I he's say, he's I problematic. Like, I he's swear. problematic. No, I swear you were like, I like coke. <laughs> like, that's where I thought that I was going. going. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Never had it. Never had it. Maybe Christmas time. We'll see. We'll go we'll now. But yeah, for food, it's just the basic ham. My dad... He really rides that ten percent Italian, so we do. He does baked ravioli, yeah. and he does meatballs, and he does a bunch. He makes the meatballs. He's hilarious, stone cold Mexican, but he just it is what it is. But yeah, you know. But anyway, yeah. So we wish everyone a happy holidays and whatever your uh, thing. But uh, we decided to do Christmas horror movies. There's so many Christmas horror movies. It's insane. Yeah. What what's what's some of your what's what's a favorite what's a favorite Christmas horror movie before we get into ours? Ah, well, it would be Krampus. I feel Krampus. Like, yeah, honestly, that was the one I only really knew about. You know, yeah. while we were looking up like Christmas horror movies, as I think about it, like nobody really watches like 
horror movies on Christmas. So this animal does. Yeah. I do. I didn't These know. Do. And Grand now animals. that I've seen the list, it's not something you oh. look for on Christmas, like the Christmas. No, you're right, 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're it's right. more of or, like. Oh, I yeah. guess wait, Black Christmas. That's I like a, Black. That's, that's a, a classic. One. Okay, that's a classic. That's, that's, that's a another classic. one. What is it? That's the one with the sorority girls, yeah. right? Okay, oh, yeah. I'm just making sure. Oh. Okay, yeah. So I guess that one. Because they remade that. Uh, twice. Yeah. 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 Oh. So I guess that one, but it's not something I watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I don't know. This year, definitely, I was ask feeling me, it. Ask me next year. I'll probably have one. We'll, now we'll that convert, I know yeah. that there's more yeah, out we'll, there. We'll yeah. Oh, there's we'll so many. Yeah. There's so many. This year was the first year where I was looking for them, and I was really like, gotta watch this, gotta watch that, gotta watch mm-hmm. this. I started one today that I it was on my list, but I never. I don't know. I never did. It's called Rare Exports: A Christmas Tale. And it takes place in like Finland or Switzerland near the mountains. And it's in another language. It's like there has English, which is a little bit, but it's mostly, I think, in like um, Danish. It might even be Danish. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, uh, and I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it so far. But yeah, there's so many Christmas horror movies out there. And we picked just, we just picked three. There's so many. We picked three. And I was pleased with the three we picked. Um, and I guess we'll just start with our first one. Obi, I want to hear your thoughts on. The mean one. The mean one. 2022 is the mean one. A dark tale on the Grinch. Yeah, I'm kind of the mad one that we had to pay for. <laughs> it's the only one we had to pay for. It really it did, is it the did, one we had to pay did, for. Uh... And like, as I'm watching this movie, I, I feel like this movie could have had so much potential. Sure, With sure, sure. the right writers. Like, this could have been a real like spinoff. Like, and I thought so at the beginning when they were like, oh, when Cindy came down, you're like, oh, okay. And then they like, Kind of rewind it like that's not what really that's happened. That's not what happened. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh, okay. It's what? wanting it real. Like, okay. Um, I, I think it kind of had its dry moments where it's just like, uh, like you prolonged, you prolonged mm-hmm. the whole situation to the end of things. Sure. I feel like there should have been a little bit more build up. Or to something it. to distract you. Exactly. Because we're just like, finally like, hey, when is she going to fight this guy? Exactly. When is she going to yeah, fight this guy? Yeah, it was taking forever to And that was like a, wrap, that like a wrap up when she was like ready to execute him and kill him and finally defeat him. And even like in the beginning, it was that was that situation was rushed. Even like as they're coming back. Sure. Dad dead in like 15 minutes in the movie. Like she well, just lost her mother at five. Like, yeah. We're <laughs> back. What, what did you? I liked the dad. I liked his, he, I mean, Chris said, I watched it with Chris, my wife, God bless her. The dad was um, barely. No, I know, he was, <laughs> he was in, in it. it for like no, he was five in it for minutes. But she, I'm talking about like the chemistry, like, because Chris was saying like, it doesn't really feel like a mom and like a daughter and it a father. Did. No. And the, she said she got really Hallmark When he was like hugging Because they're her. doing the montage of yeah. them yeah. doing the decorations. Yeah. But I don't know, I liked the dad. I, I know he wasn't alone, but I liked him. I, he was giving, I felt like he was giving more of an effort than the girl. That's all I'm saying. I think, I mean. It's a horror comedy. It is a horror but comedy. But I think it, it was is. supposed to just be a spoof. Yeah. And it just... I um, don't... People, they'll get, if you, maybe, if people, it's, if certain people will get the humor and certain people don't like that humor. Yeah. So yeah. It, I think it depends on your humor if you, you know... Yeah, if you take yourself seriously, and I think that's the one thing you can say about this movie, they weren't trying no. to take themselves seriously. Okay. I think it was like what Obi said. It was like a fun idea, and it had potential, but oh, budget I restrictions. I feel, like, I feel like they could have really built a, like a whole story background of like an sure, alternative. Sure, sure, like, but that takes money. Yeah, yeah. and I don't think these guys no, have. And I, no, I don't no, think no, these no. guys have. The only money. thing I, I probably did like um, the makeup on the mean one. Not bad. It was, it was really not good. bad. It, it was, was not bad. very not good. Bad. Yeah. It was very good. It wasn't like a tacky. No, like just green paint and then just like a, a colored eyes or anything. They like. Definition into the thing. Yeah, I no, the, the, really, the ripples, yeah. the ripples yeah. were. Yeah. I enjoyed. Wow, I enjoyed I the surprised. main one. I think he was my favorite in the movie. He was just <laughs> the, his mannerism. You could just tell it was just like okay, he's really going for the Grinch here. You could tell the way he like was killing people and like sneaking around the oh, house. Yeah, yeah they like did that. a shot where he's, he's on like, his little yeah, toes, and I loved it. Yeah. I was like. They they really that's what you see it. in the cartoon as he yeah. did. So they were giving little hints. So I they, did. The people who made this movie them. knew the Grinch. Oh, yeah. yeah. They did. You can't say, like, oh, they bet you they never saw the Grinch. They saw the Grinch. Oh, yeah. They saw the Grinch so much that the, I think the only thing I would have changed is why is he in the Santa outfit? Because in the Grinch, he wears Santa's outfit to trick everyone. They didn't really go into, like, is that what he was doing? Was he trying to pretend to be Santa? Yeah. And Cindy, oh, okay. I. 
I don't know. I didn't. I feel like that could have been just they could have drove that home a little bit because you kind of. I don't understand that little part because he wears the sauna outfit the whole time. And I don't know. I just that was the only thing I would have changed that he wearing his own clothes or I wearing really a shroud or something. Also, the ending too, like oh, uh, how he dies uh, when his was, heart explodes. I loved yeah. it actually. <laughs> I no, I loved it because they were still playing on the the Grinch his and what happens? Grew. His heart grew. And in reality, if someone's heart grows three times, the next step is death. If we're walking around, it's like, my heart's growing. It's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. That's Your heart doesn't grow. Heart, if someone's heart literally did grow, it's it would explode. explode. Okay. It explodes. So that's the only reason well, I liked it. No, I'm over more talking like, he was never mean. He was... Oh! <laughs> no, <laughs> I apologize. I retract. Yeah. I retract my statement. I would have changed. Like I would have just stuck with him being mean. Nope. Like, just in the mean, beginning, just mean. yeah. In just the be beginning, like you could. I mean, at least me, I was like, oh, it's just a misunderstanding. He didn't yeah. mean to kill the mom. You kind of see like it's just the bag hits her and yeah. she falls. She, the mom was the one freaking out, which yeah. I guess I kind of understand it a little bit. A green man. And what are you doing in my, my house? Child, like in the middle of the night. Round and their daughter does say, no, mom, it's fine, it's fine. But, like, unfortunately, that is a kid's mentality. No, it's fine. He's just going to give me candy in his van. Like, no, sweetie, that's, that's, that's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. <laughs> but, no, actually, you know, I retract. Yeah, yeah, I definitely didn't like how they they made it like that. Because then it's like, oh, I now I feel bad. Why are you making me feel bad about this person who's murdered a, a lot, lot of people? people. We were a lot of, the only people I don't care about yeah. are the drunk Santas. Those guys were dicks. Oh, yeah. That one guy groped that waitress. I did like how the waitress slapped him, and then he follows her to the kitchen, and she just gives him the... I love them. I'm like, yes. yes get it. But I had no sympathy for any of those no. dicks. No. They were drunk. It's daytime. What are you talking about? Which, see, she says the kitchen closed, but it was daytime. It, why was it closed, do you think? I don't I know. Question. I thought that, too. The holidays? Because she said, she said, only drinks, guys, and they're like, Yeah. Iced tea, and he's like, because I really thought they were going into a bar, and it was like late at night. Yeah, just getting food. Yeah, just getting food. And she's like, oh, the bars or the the kitchens closed, and then I'm like, looking, I'm like, is it daytime? It's It's day broad daylight. They were doing like a run or something. And here's the problem: if you want us to forget that it's day, don't do a shot of the driver on his phone doing Tinder or whatever. He's like, swipe left or swipe right, because you can see how it's the light clearly day. Oh, when they walked in the bar, the light was coming in from the day. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can clearly say, say, but ah, whatever. Maybe it's because it's near the holidays, and they're like, we're closing. Uh, Maybe that's part of the spoof, though. Christmas that it's like the kitchen's closed, but it's like no, because it was the morning. Maybe that's part of like oh. They're like, listen, how are we gonna get these guys in this diner? They're drunk off their asses. We have to shoot it today, and it's we can't wait till the night. I get it. There's film restrictions where it's Mm -hmm. like you need to. We need to shoot it now. What the day? We're losing the day. That's why they shoot. At sun, like sunrise, because they have to do so much, and we need the light. We're losing the light. You hear that? I'm sure. Oh yeah, that, we're of losing it. the light. We're losing the light. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe Mark's right. Maybe it was just a joke. Like, who gives a shit? It's daytime. I don't think we're, they were like, nobody's paying attention to that. Right. Oh, sorry, folks. We, these we three assholes. <laughs> these three assholes were asking questions. <laughs> like, we're not brain dead skags. Uh, but overall, what would you say? Oh, come on, give me your truth. If you truth. can find it for free, watch it. For right. free. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Okay. For okay. free, if it's for free, free watch, watch it. it. It's not. I don't think worth if they're the still rental. trying to charge four dollars and ninety nine cents. But I did. I didn't like hate it. I didn't, I enjoyed the time I spent watching the movie. But I was also high. Uh, that was that usually <laughs> that helps. Always helps. That usually <laughs> helps. No, uh, Mark. Yeah, you you agree. You agree. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree also with that statement. I think if it's streaming somewhere, definitely put it on. If it's for free, definitely put it on. It's fun. And walk in knowing that it's low budget. Walk in knowing that they weren't make, taking their some seriously. But that was the point. It's like Mark said. That was the point. It's a spoof. It's a comedy. As long as you have that mindset, I think you'll enjoy it. Because we laugh. Oh, yeah. Me and Chris laugh. We thought it was funny. Oh, we, we thought me and Marlene were done. And yeah. some of the acting portrayals, I think, are pretty good. Not a lot, but some of them are. And you always feel bad for those guys because I thought the sheriff and the deputy were trying. The deputy and the main girl, they're the the, the writing wants yeah. them to. Oh, they're gonna like each other. They're gonna. Yeah. But the girl just doesn't not doesn't do. It. There's no chemistry. And zero like chemistry. Me? But the but the but the deputy. Every safe you shoot a shot. She, he's, he's, he's giving his effort. He's giving his. I think he really tried. That actor is trying to 
spark something, but it, it's just it's not reciprocated. But whatever. What did you think of the? What, 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 what you, you didn't think of the training montage was good enough? Where she's like, doing the tie bow. I told I told Marlene yeah. I was like I think it would have been funnier if in the end she was still really bad. I oh. yeah. like she, it just it never got better. Than I think it was really bad. I think, that would have made this movie. A hundred uh-huh. times better, Mark. One hundred times. Would I would have been the laughing training my ass would have started off. after her father's death. Like, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, like, yeah. now she, he's killed your mother. You Don't know this guy's believe. alive. Exactly. You know this guy's alive. Everyone's still telling you alive. It's like, well, I'm training because I'm gonna kill this guy. But you, it tra- takes her you... ten other, twelve other bodies where it's like, Plus, like no yes. one's gonna stop it. I guess that will be I will. Like, the drunk like, guy is great. He's fun. Her neighbor guy. Her neighbor yeah. dude. Uh, there's, there, there's, a, there's some good things about it's this It's definitely story. a spoof. Like it's a spoof, yeah. yeah you can't Walk in with a spoof. Yeah. But and don't pay we're all saying it. watch it. So we're all saying watch it. So that's, you know. Anyway, moving on. We got our second film, which is my, believe it or not, I know this, I might regret saying this, this is my favorite of the three we picked. Um, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, that is 1987. It is a direct sequel to the 1984 controversial Silent Night, Deadly Night, which was pulled from the theaters after a week because wow. people were freaking out about this movie. And I don't want to spend too much um, talking about this, but the advertisement was airing during primetime family during family programs. Oh. So they're all watching. I can't. Oh, for me, I can't think of a show, but. We're sitting, we're a family, we got the kids, we're watching a movie, we're watching the television, then commercial break, oh, a movie, oh, a Santa Claus movie's coming on, and it's Silent Night, Deadly Night, and so the kids were exposed to it, so then you got a lot of angry parents, Uh, even Mickey Rooney was very (laughs) upset, he wrote a a letter saying, how dare you, they pulled it after a week, it was re-released, it was re-released, and slowly became a cult classic, actually. But the reason I wanted us, they let me choose the second one is because the second one is so over the top, ridiculously hilarious that this is a movie to watch. This is so dumb and funny and great. And what would you think about Silent Night, Deadly Night? I probably never agreed with a killer to kill people. Wow! It was very very as he should, yes. Kill, oh, kill no. these people. They were dicks to these like, kids. They were terrible. dicks to these kids. Oh, okay. 100% like, oh my god, yeah, kill that bitch. Kill that bitch, absolutely. Mother Superior I, is the devil. Mother Superior. And she I'm, embodies. They, she embodies. And this, this, <laughs> these boys have been traumatized. And just like the Catholics thinking they could beat the, the bad. Beat, beat the bad. Beat oh, the bad. You, you, you have a left hand? Beat Not anymore. Not you don't, you right left handed? No, that's the devil. That's no. the can, devil. Can I just say? <laughs> say it. I have a lot of thoughts about this movie. And uh, this will probably become one of my movies that I, my go-to movies every holiday season. Okay. I actually really enjoyed it. Mission accomplished. I've never seen the first one. I don't know if I... I think I want to. Now I, I feel like I, I have to too. Because I was kind I of I feel like, bad because after you see this one, you do kind of want to see the first one. Continue, Marco. Okay. Um... So the first 40 minutes, I think, of the movie, 40, they are recapping the first 40 one. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah. You that is no minutes. joke. Yeah. Um, 40 minutes. And so, uh, my heart, <laughs> I was sitting there and I'm like, this poor traumatized yeah. child when just witnessed his parents get brutally murdered. Then he goes to this fucking orphanage with these nuns and Mother Superior, that bitch got what she deserved. 100%. And I'm just saying... All of this probably could have been avoided if they got this kid into fucking therapy. therapy. And yes. they, like, mental health both guys. Of both of them. Both of them. Both of them. No, they no, witnessed it's... their parents' death. They went into this orphanage where they were still being abused. And, and then like, forced to face their traumas by, like, Santa's. Like, what? Yeah, yeah guess... sit, sit on Santa's lap. It's like, no. one of the nuns says, this isn't a good idea. No. We need to... Be better. Okay. This isn't a good idea. So in the begin, their parents die. Um, this random man dressed as Santa murders their parents. That's why they're t- dressed as Santa. Yep. Yeah, and yep. they're terrified of Santa. And then they try to, ma- yeah, he, they try to make them sit on Santa's lap. He he is he the the the, the boy that you feel the most sympathy for is Billy. Billy. Yeah. Oh, he is four years I old, maybe Billy. four or five when he witnesses this. And so fast forward three years, he's eight or nine. So. Not much growth has happened. He's still very distraught and afraid of Santa. And having nightmares. And he is yes, straight up yes. telling him, 
I don't want to do this. I don't want to be near Santa and Mother Superior ignores his and he's Nobody helps him. No one ever gets these kids professional help. Talking. It, all of these murders probably could have been, well, with Billy anyway, avoided if they got him help. Well, one, one, no, one could even say Ricky. if they helped Billy, they might have been able to help Ricky or Ricky. Billy could have been there I'm to so be supportive of Ricky. I'm so sorry, but I think Ricky's a fucking psychotic Crazy I have, man. I have, I have a little bit. Of, go ahead, go keep going. I, he is. I think he's Billy different. is just traumatized. He went through his shit. I don't. I, I. He shouldn't have killed those innocent people, except for that one guy who was trying to rape the girl. Yeah, yeah. He deserved that it. Was some of it. Um, deserves, but the girl yeah. that uh, didn't deserve it. No. Yeah, it makes no sense that he killed her right after. Well, she she started bitching at him. And That's his yeah, girlfriend. Oh, the girlfriend. The girl. Well, the the girl that she tries. Oh, that one. No, no, no. That no, no. no. <laughs> that is unnecessary. Without a doubt, I'm talking about. She's oh talking about the one where. Oh my God, Ricky and his girlfriend. With his girlfriend, poor girl. Um, no, she. Mark's talking about in the in, in the recap, the 40 minute full recap of the first movie, where this guy in the back room uh, is trying to is molesting this girl, oh, sexually yeah. assaulting her, okay. and then uh, Billy steps in and kills him, and then she starts yelling at him like, "You're Don't a psycho, you're a monster!" And like, although what she's saying is correct, because he she should have killed him. Waited a minute because he just is. You don't have to. I almost said you don't have to kill someone. You're like feeling. I almost said that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just. You understand <laughs> how he just killed someone. He yeah. almost gave himself yes, away. Yeah. Shut he up. Almost told us where the eyes are buried. Um. Uh, <laughs> he just killed someone, so he's clearly off his rocker. You don't want to agitate this person. No. Yeah. You, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, for saving leave. me. And then you leave. And you then just you leave. ripped my shirt blouse open. Okay. And then call the cops when you get home. I mean, when you're safe at home. I, I've counted like 36 pairs of titties. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I and it like... like I just have the, flashbacks to their mom dying. Them. Exactly. Oh, I yeah. hated that they correlate. Like, those were the things. I even took some of my friends. I was like, Tyler and I definitely like, too. You see a lot of titties. Watch it. <laughs> Guys, it's the 80s. And the titties were just, rampant in the just, 80s. The one girl ow, ow, that, ow. um, I, yeah, it was Billy who kills him. Um, the, they're, they're having sex. That couple who's having sex. At the men. She's so skinny. Oh, yeah. Oh, and wait, Billy or the... the, the I think it's Billy. The, the um, one you like or the one you don't like? The one I like. So Billy goes and he kills this couple who are having sex. She goes, oh, like, he's like, what is that? And she's like, I think it's my cat, my oh, cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. See yeah. She's skinny, like skinny she and her tits were just, like, on point. Yeah. Still, well, that's, that's what happens touches. when you have... That's the only meat you have on your bones. Oh, uh, they, they pull it out. Um, yeah, that part is hilarious, actually, because he... he it's so funny because it's like we're talking about the movie, but it's like the recap of the first movie. Yes. But I'm like, that's what took me a while to remember. But yeah, um, yeah, she's like paying through that. I mean, it's it's the '80s, you know. They were definitely really telling really girls, 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 girls. Remember, you're gonna be on camera. Better. Let's 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 skip lunch, maybe. That's just the mentality they had on it. And, and like, I I had a soft spot for Billy. Billy, and yeah. Probably watching him grow up and like going through these hard times, but adult Billy was kind of cute. cute. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, whoa. When he put he, the Santa too, I was like, okay, they last. No, <laughs> the, both, <laughs> both the boys were made of big stock. They were tall. They were strapping lads. Ricky was not cute, but he had a great body. He I was just gonna say, his they had Billy, a shot you where you can tell Billy where, is okay. He's in shape. Yeah. yeah. Ricky lets you know because he wears those tight shirts yes. and that post that coitus prison, sex prison scene. Body. Prison he, body. He, I don't know. It looked like prison, prison body. body. You're right. Yeah. And at that point yeah. in the movie, he has him in a prison. And though. he had really good eyebrows. I'm going to keep saying that. Like they did a shot and they were just full. And I was like, oh, okay. guys. Whoever that guy was, like. Eric Freeman <laughs> plays Ricky, the younger brother, <laughs> and the one that uh, Marky has issues with. And I, I agree with the issues she has. <clears throat> but. Um, Eric Freeman made that role something to remember. You guys will remember this role. We're talking about because that's the, the second one with the eyebrows. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's Ricky, yes. and where he's like, yeah, he does that a lot. Does, oh, the first ten minutes of the movie, no, there's nothing. There's no, there's no talking back and forth. It's just the the security plugging and everything, and they're just looking at each other. He's just like, and I'm like, what the fuck? He has a scowl on that. He has a scowl. And this is where I feel like I should have watched the first one, because I was like not sure what the hell was going on the first one. But the one. problem is, in the yeah. first one, they never talk about... They only talk about... I mean, Ricky's, Ricky's just a little boy. He, like, he's not that much. Not, he's played by two different actors, and okay. he barely has any lines. Oh, really? Yeah, he's not a main character. So you don't so get Billy, anything. So Billy's the main character. Billy's, Billy's the, main the main character in the okay. first one. You see him grow up, 
and you see him lose it. Oh, so the first movie, you only miss him have a... Dr- I mean, you miss a little bit. It's 40 minutes, and the, the original movie is like 90 minutes, so you do miss it, but it cuts it to where you know what you need to know, and I think they just had a little bit to make a movie, and they were like, let's just recap the first one so everyone's caught up, because remember, they pulled it from theaters. Maybe they're oh, thinking, maybe they're thinking, how many people true. saw this movie? That, yeah. Let's do... 40 minutes of it, and then we'll do 50 minutes keep, of our own. Keep movie. whatever we don't need. Now, to I don't that, know if yeah. that's the reason, but that's what I. But that does make sense. It so. catches. But Billy, you see Billy go through this, like Mark said, he has this trauma. You see him snap. You get it. You understand. Ricky, I get it. You don't really see it, but what you do see him witness is nightmarish. He sees a Santa. They see Santa get killed because the cop pulls a gun and he thinks that's the killer Santa. Yeah. It's not. It's Father. Father Malone, and he's deaf. So he killed a deaf priest. And, and no re- consequences. No consequences. Until All, he dies. Until he dies. Di- so some consequences, but so. no real consequences. He was going to walk. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if Billy hadn't killed him, he was going to be like, sorry, guys. I, I mean, was like, um, death duty, like, him? fired. Like, he killed a man in front of children. At least 10 or 12 children. Without and one of, shed or anything No, like no, that. no tear shed. And he literally says... Sorry, Mother Superior. I mean, I thought, you know, he's on his knees, like, he's on one knee saying, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I don't, you know, he, he was in Santa. He was Santa. Um, Ricky is one of the kids that witnesses that. Yeah. Okay. Ricky also witnesses the death of his brother, who he knows that his brother was abused because he also is being yeah. abused. So there was no, there was no window. See, Billy had a little bit of love with his parents. He was like three or four. He witnessed what true emotion was. That makes was. sense, yeah. Ricky is a baby when all this happens. And then you know what he witnesses? Death and punishment. They, you know, Ricky says punishment like 50 times and naughty 50 naughty. times. That's a naughty. 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 <laughs> naughty. Yeah. And punish. And like, and punish. I love that man. Love a I, 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 <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. He's got a hell of a body. Hell of a body. Yeah. And but that's why I always when like you kind of. I, have to it away, I do. I didn't actually see it because he was a baby. Okay, so and he they, did just so didn't grow up. Sex like, is not. It's, it's almost brainwashed. He was brainwashed. To he was brainwashed to think sex was naughty. But then but, when he had his girlfriend. Well, hey, we think things, and then things present themselves, and you're like, "This isn't naughty. This is this is this awesome. Is, this is awesome. This is awesome." But if anybody else is doing it, it's naughty. Well, that's how it <laughs> was. Well, the teenagers. You see a flashback in the first one where Mother Superior walks in on teenagers having sex and. He, she beats the shit she out of them. She beats the shit out of him. And so it's not like it was just Ricky. She beats at this woman. That's she why I wanted you guys to watch the second one. You want to know why? Because in the second one, spoiler alert, she gets what she deserves. Oh, yeah. In the I first want, one, I want she you to lives. Know right now. I she want lives. you to know right now. Tell me right now. At the end, when it shows him going down with the hatchet, yeah. and she had the knife, I was like, I clapped because I was like, it's about time about she got time. it. About and time. then... When they're walking into the house, the cop and the other nun, and I'm like, Marlene, if she's alive right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad. So they walk into the room and they see her sitting there. Yeah. And I literally threw the blanket off. Oh and I got God. up That's and hilarious. I walked away. That's and I'm hilarious. like in the kitchen, like looking from afar. You know, like I hate and I'm this. like, is she dead? She's a piece of shit. And then, and then, sure enough, her head falls off. Yeah. And and I was like, like, give me my blanket. <laughs> I yeah. guess Ricky was. This sounds like we're crazy. Yeah. It sounds like we're really rooting for people what? to die. No. Only no, Mother Superior. Mother Superior is a. She beats children and she hides behind a mask of self righteousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She does not for being a nun. Who a nun is someone who has dedicated their life to the service of God and His children. <laughs> um, she missed. The she missed it. She, she does not understand the spirit of Christmas and she does not understand. The belief system that she claims to be a part of. It has nothing to do with beating children and punishing children for being who they are, wanting to have relationships, and that that you have to be one. It's so robotic, and I don't mean to go on the Catholic Church, but it's just it's a robotic thing where you have mm-hmm. to look like this, you have to act like this, you have to say these things, or we're going to beat the shit out of you. And these kids are already having <clears throat> rough. Baptists are the same. Kids. Baptists are the same. I, I, I gotta yeah. say that. I gotta say that too. Baptists are the same. But um. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I can't talk shit about the Catholic when I'm a Baptist and I yeah. know that they are not perfect. Okay. Uh, organized religion is far from perfect. Um, but yeah, Mother Superior, it's like it sounds like we want her to die. It sounds like she's the villain. 
I don't know how to tell you this, guys. She's she the villain. She is the villain. She's the villain. Through. She's the villain. She got what she's, yeah. Ricky and Billy are products of what they a are. Broken system. The product. Thank you. I, I said products. I can't remember what I said. But that right. is right. Probably products right. of a broken, flawed system. Now, are, should they have been caught? Should they have been punished yeah. in jail? Yeah. Of course. But I am not shocked that these two kids became killers. No. no. I, how can we be shocked? I would have been killing too. I would have Obi, been killing yes. too. I would have. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. If I saw my sibling be, be shot in front of me after being abused by this lady, I definitely would be like... I think I'm going to grow up to be a killer. I, yeah, I think I'm going to be a killer. Just, you know. But I, th- there's the scene where he goes on the onslaught. Ricky goes on the onslaught, and he's just laughing his ass off while shooting people. Oh, yeah. It is such a great scene because it is so ridiculous that I I cannot suggest this movie enough. This movie is so great. I love it. We're, we're, we we could talk about it probably way longer. I actually, we got it. I really enjoyed it too. I'm really glad that you recommended it. This is probably it was one of my different. Yeah, yeah. now that you guys have seen the typical second horror movie, like, yeah. I'm it's not a typical no, horror movie. It's really not. Bad, it's like, really just not. a mean guy, bad guy, and stuff like that. It's it like, actually had, made me. Sa- in the beginning, I got really sad. Yeah, it's sad. And it was just like holy shit, these kids. Like I can't even imagine. It does what a lot of movies kind of try to do. Yeah. It provides that spark, that fire. Like, what are we going to make this movie about? This catalyst. What's the catalyst? Here's the catalyst. Two kids witness Santa murdering their parents and they're fucked for life. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They don't go to family members. They go to an abusive uh, orphanage. That's the cat. That's a spark. That's a hell of a compelling yeah. and story. And they had no other family. Like- Even Ricky, like, think about it. Like, when he actually does end up getting adopted. Yeah. He was scared of nuns. Yeah, and he saw those nuns walking down the street, and that man was terrified. Or and then what did the and foster this, and the foster parents tried to return him. Remember at that moment, I was that, like, "That's, that's what, shitty." That's shitty. I'm sorry. That's why when you, people, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I haven't adopted. Me and Chris talk about it every now and then because we talk about wanting to have another kid. And I, but anyway, it, when you adopt someone, God, have the balls to really make a decision because that is not helping. Mm-mm. Abandoning them again? Well, it's not abandoning it. It's abandoning them. You say. Be part of our family. It didn't work out. That's abandonment exactly. to a child. That's child, abandonment. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Ricky. I, yeah. I, I have a lot of sympathy for Ricky. I definitely think Billy, his portrayal, uh, the way they wrote him, it it, 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 you can honestly sympathize with him. Whereas Ricky, he's just so twisted. Yeah. It's hard to find the sympathy in him. It, but if you look, you it's find there. it. It's there. It's there. I it's think there. it was the interview that he was having with the do- the psychiatrist or whoever. I think that's really what brought like, oh, you're just crazy. He's crazy because the the interview that he has. But like when you broke it down that way, like, well, look at what he witnessed. Like yeah. at least Billy had those loving years with his his family. Three or four, or five he years. He really didn't. He was a baby. When you deny a child that young of any type Very of love or nourishment, expert, yeah. it is scientifically proven. Look it up. That. There will be something off. They're, they will not understand things. It's a it's a long road for yeah. that child. I'm not saying it's they're done. They're lost cause. A lost cause. I'm just saying when you deny a child love and care at those starting ages, it's it's serious. Because you're so, not giving them both. It's just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so but th- so we're talking. It's like we're getting real deep. We're getting serious. Know, and this is a silly, sad, yeah. ridiculous movie. Really but the, but it it's, also it's, has it this like, layers. Yeah. It's layered. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, watch this movie. Please watch this I movie. I recommend it. And, sure. and let us know what you think, honestly, because this is, uh, I think Mark Mark said it better. This is a staple. This is a staple. This is a new holiday staple. Watch this movie over here. And then you want to know what I'll also say? I'll say it. Watch the first one, watch. too. Yeah, I watch there's gonna it. Be, I'm going to watch it. No, I'm going to watch it to see it. No, no, yeah, guys. Exactly. I'm sorry. I just really wanted the second one just has that little extra you yeah. can talk. But the first one, let me spoil it just this one little bit. A- there is an 80s fun sweet montage of Billy working at the store that you don't get to see in the recap. And it's so preciously sweet and 80s campy that you're just like, am no I, wonder this is an 80s Am I going to fall in love with Billy? You, you I'm already, already, already there. I'm already there. No, 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 no. You got lady bonus <laughs> for Billy. No, guys, guys, you will fall. Whatever you, positive feelings, get ready to amp him up because he's he does a lot of this like, he does a lot of that. And it's the same. He, it's the same. It's, it's in the actor, movie, but in the, the recap, they, okay. tr- they re. Oh, it's the same actor. Okay. It's just in the recap, they trim the montage. A big mistake, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, watch it. Watch it. The, watch this movie, but watch the first one too. But this one has got a little more. It's got an extra layer, extra couple of layers, because yeah. you got that. You got Billy the sympathetic killer, 
Ricky the Psychopath Killer, and they come together in one movie. But anyway, moving on, we got the last one. Probably won't talk too long about this because it's anyone who watches this movie is going to say the same thing that it's, we're going to say. Excellent movie, excellent. Krampus. Um, Moby, start. This, let's start with the, uh, the the actors, the actresses, like star, like I the cast the is insane. Right? It's a good cast. cast. Is insane. It's cast a is insane. very good cast, and it's it's not what you expect. Um, especially what's his face, the 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 bald gentleman. Oh, oh, Packer. Yeah. Well, I mean that's not his real that's name. That's but, but that's Packer from, from the office. office. Yeah. yeah. And when he, when I see him come up, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like a spoof and yeah. stuff. But like in the beginning, you know, just the interaction, you think it is, and then like shit gets real. Mm-hmm. And he shows shit his gets... acting chops. I yeah. appreciate you bringing that up yeah. because he's more than just a, a silly humorous guy. Yeah. They yeah. all bring. Their A game exactly. in this movie. Yeah. I don't. I like the dynamics, and there, there's a, isn't there a story behind Krampus? It's like it's a German. Krampus is a is a real yeah. a German folklore, yeah. uh, probably European, mostly European, okay. not just even just Germany. And it's just basically uh, Krampus visits the kids who are ungrateful and, and naughty, and he punishes them. And it it definitely was created to get yeah. kids to behave because they started with Santa Claus. Of course. No, I apologize. I doubt they started with Is Santa Chris- Claus. I think they started with the darker tale because it's like let's use fear to make these kids stop acting like little brats. And then finally they were like, I think we're not. We're, I think this isn't good for it's kids. So then they like let's make it to where like if you're good though right. Santa Claus comes, yeah. and if you're bad Krampus comes. Krampus. So then it's like there's the mediocre, and then eventually. No one talks about Krampus, really. I mean, do you guys? Did you guys ever have a talk about Krampus? No, 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 <laughs> exactly. No, I like, uh, I like the the grandma that they. She's German. She was oh, like, it get, it get it made it real. It's like, yeah, you know, it made it. Like, they needed a real German yeah. actress for this role. Um, she nailed it. The the look and the the Krampus like his just outer it's it's creepy it's scary. obvious and it's scary because you don't see his and face the for snow, the long the blizzard like yeah oh, when it gets I like that they added that because it got cold cause the snowman it was just like okay yeah how did the snowman get there and that's how shit started yeah going. the snowman yeah. started and then every time someone gets taken a new snowman appears and it's like that is a dark scary, scary. thing to let the audience know like. This isn't the end. And they don't know it. You no know, one, for a while. No one knows nothing. Like, no one knows who's building out these snowmen. Right. Well, they just think it's a bad storm. Only the grandmother and the youngest are kind of like, they can feel something creeping in the back of their neck. It's like something's wrong. And the grandmother, you find out the grandmother can smell it a mile away because she went through she it when went she was a kid. It, yeah. That whole backstory, I liked how they did it, like um, the animated backstory. Yeah, it was animated. It was, I loved it. Um, it was dark it was sad because it was it was a time of you know starvation you know that time in the 40s is not great for europe Mm -hmm. uh, not great for europe and it just it made sense that people lost the hope but it was it was the point of that part was just to say it doesn't matter never give up never lose hope as long as you have your family that you have something and that's what the movie was trying to say Mm -hmm. everyone's getting upset my family's a pain in the ass. Mark, we made jokes. And we're like, oh, my fa- my in law, you know, they, they came. Uh, you know, and my, I was I complain about my I family think sometimes. I relate to that. Like, just like, who, why the fuck did you bring that? Right? But, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. it shows that we, there's still our family. Exactly. And we still need we to should... try and make it work at least around the holidays. It gives like it's... a Christmas tale, like a good. It's. I think it's a perfect. What you have because I even it's like a perfect a, Christmas a movie. Yeah, I think. I mean, I it has it, yeah. horror in it, but, but it's a perfect Christmas, Christmas movie to remind you to appreciate, it, like, appreciate yeah. your family, appreciate love your what family, you have. love what you have, exactly. and yeah, Mark, what, what was anything that popped out? That you I thought I can't. When they're sitting at the dinner table and the cousins steal his letter to Santa and they're reading it out loud uh, and it just gets so sad and he's just like, I wish my dad was home more. Why? I wish my parents loved each other uh, again. I don't know the kid. Was a little bit petty because it didn't towards the end. And then he goes, goes, he goes, he was like, oh, I, I, why, I, I wish, like, why do they have to be poor? And he's like, also, why does um my uncle want to wanted to? Sleep? Why does he treat them like, like boys? boys? Yeah, yeah. And, and I, like, she's like, like, my dad doesn't, doesn't treat us like boys. Or doesn't wish we were boys. Yeah, I was and I was like, like, oh, well, honey, you know, honey, honey, I was honey. Like, ah. Packer yeah. wanted. <laughs> Packer wanted Men. all boys. Yeah, he wanted all they boys. Came full camo. I think that was like. And there's nothing wrong with to top, top it off. I, I also have nothing wrong with. I, I don't. I don't have a uh, problem with like. No, girls do this and boys do this. I think that's horseshit. No. Boys can play sports and uh, and do other things that 
are feminine. Yeah, they can yeah. paint, and they that's all bull. That's all bull. The boys do this, and girls do that. that's bull. Kids should be exposed yeah, to it all. Anything. They should be exposed to it all, and then you you know you let the you let the stones fall where they well, want. Well, no, you can control the narrative, like how they perceive it. That's how I. See oh it. yeah, you control the narrative. Sure, the narrative. yeah, you don't, you let them decide. It's like though, question, like, and then this is what I want you to yeah. do for me. I feel like that comes without anything. Like, sure, anything yeah, I think to a, a point, to an extent, for sure. Them. For, yeah, expose and then, but obviously through um, through a guardianship. You know, you want to expose him to everything, but you got to be there to, to walk him along the way. Right. Uh, but, but he sure did walk away. <laughs> he, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he wanted sure boys. He wanted yeah, Mark, you nailed it. Yeah. Uh, that, it and that's what started it. I mean, that's literally that's what, started what started this whole him thing. Him getting mad and wishing his family was gone. I, why Crap in God's coming. name? Why in God's name didn't one of the adults say like, "Hey, Stevie." Put that down. Exactly. They let her read that whole letter. Yeah. And, and he was like, it's a letter of what, cousin? And thing, everyone like, makes fun, like, oh, he still is like, you know, he didn't ask for a single, tangible, physical thing. Not one. No. He said, I want my parents to get along better. I want to hang out with my sister more. I don't have a lot of friends. So, I, you know, I just, and I want, oh, can you, can my, my mom and uncle, they're going through a little tough, you know, can you, can you help them out? It's all really sweet, yeah. selfless things. I definitely would have been like, Max, no, 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 come here, come here, come here. Don't run away. Come here, come here. Listen, yeah, you guys are being assholes. That That's what I would have said. Like, you guys okay. are being dicks, and you don't have to apologize it for that letter. Let's go home. It would have been avoided. It, it could have been resolved. Adam Scott comes up, and he tries to talk to him, but he just no, misses it. that family. He goes there. up there. He's like, listen, we got to yeah. try. They They're like, our family. He just didn't nail it. These yeah. are the people like it. under the butter knife, like poking at you with talking about the food. But no, I don't have a problem with cold, the, with fast us. food, hot dogs, mac and cheese. I was like, ah, that no, why, no, I didn't like that. I didn't like that because that why, there was a little bit of that. But you know, you're almost like relatable. You have yeah. people like that in your family, which I was like, those oh, dynamics. When they, before the aunt walks in the door, though, and then yeah. she goes. Please don't be mad at me. And then their aunt walks in. And, and I that love, chick is hilarious. She's like two and a half men, hilarious. And she's, she's, she's like in a love with Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, too. she's well, hilarious. she's hilarious. She's funny. Oh my gosh! And she's like, like I don't give a fuck personality. Like oh, when she says, "Where's right the eggnog? I gotta get married yeah. now." <laughs> I was like, "Yes." Why do you hate this woman? Just tell her to show. The problem is, is that woman. Tony Collette, excellent actress, wants to keep her feelings in. He'll just tell her, Aunt, yeah. shut up. I just want to watch, like, shut watch up. his face. And we're going to keep calling him Packer when, like, all the lights are out. And he's like, oh, everything is out. Do we even have food? She's like, oh, and there's leftovers. She's like, so beer it is. Beer it is. <laughs> like, oh. No. Hey, that's yeah. her boss. That's what, it, that's her brother in law. I was like, get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> Packer, <laughs> no. I, listen, I get it. She kind of chose a, an interesting meal, but it's free. She cooks it's all free. day. No. Also, and, like, they have, have a have problem with touch. creme brulee. Like, guys, you uncultured swine, go eat your hot dog and mac and cheese. <laughs> that now the meal, it's like shut up. You should be grateful, but the creme brulee, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, Auntie. We should have shut up. Creme brulee. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, great, great choice for a dessert. No, great absolutely. Choice. She's trying her best, but yeah, you know, then it, it goes on. Max is upset. He's in his feelings. He is young. It is a little like, ah, oh, you were just so sweet a minute ago. And then you went from like, I don't wish they were gone. Like, he doesn't say it, but that's, you find out in the movie that that's he did wish for them to go away. Yeah. Krampus wouldn't have shown up if he's just like, you know what, fuck it. I don't think he would have shown up. He made a wish. He's like, I hate them. I'm so mad at them. I want them gone. They didn't disappear. And then, then, like, this is not, like, home alone. Like, no, we're no, home alone. Things get dark and things get serious. <laughs> People, um... Because well, even, like, the ending was really interesting, which when you can tell something's off when he comes downstairs and he looks at it, there's kind of, like, a haze. Like, it's not... Yes, it's not reality. Scene. It's, like, a haze. I'm like, this is not a normal now, scene. Now, we're skipping a little bit, but... This is actually the most important part I have to talk about is I want to know your things. So, like, do you think it's hazy? Like, their spoiler alert, doesn't end well. This is the guy who did Trick or Treat. Okay. So, he's a legend, and he doesn't do nicey movies. Yeah. He doesn't do, like, all right, gang, we sure learned something from that. That is not what his point of these movies are. So, 
Everyone gets taken. Max tries to say, take me instead. Krampus laughs and throws him into the underworld. Now, when he wakes up, Mark's correct. There is a haziness to it. There's like a gloss to it. Do you think it's that it's because they live in the globe? They're actually in the snow globe? When the camera pans out, the, 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 their house, and then all of a sudden it's in a snow globe. Mm -hmm. Is it they live in the snow globe? And that's where the glossiness is? That's where the haze is? It's because it's like foggy there? Or is it, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm looking at it like he's watching them to see if they ever do that again. But I know I'm wrong. That's not no, true. No, I think they're, they're, in, think they're, they're in the They're in the other room. That's their hell. Yeah. He had a it's, shot. See, they let Omi live. He lets Omi, when she's a little girl, the grandmother, the German grandmother, he lets her live to remember. But Max is like, fuck it. I don't want to do that. I want to go with my family. And Krampus is like, Shh, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Fine, go with them. They're, they're in the snow globe. So that's what you guys think happens. Yeah. Right? yeah, unfortunately, that's yeah. what happens. I'm and so obvious, But I mean, it's their hell, but at the same time, like, that's what he wanted. He I wanted, mean, that's hell for some. It's oh, like yeah. Family. He wanted everything to be sweet. sweet. And it's like, this and is they, sweet. It was sweet. Christmas every day, dick. Um, yeah, you're right. I, I thought of it as like, okay, they're they're together. It could be worse because the baby's taken. That's fucked up. They take the baby. One of the elves, the elves show up. What? We skipped it, but it's like, guys... See this movie. It's this movie is so great. Yeah. Their dark vision on elves and the Christmas toys yeah. come alive. The gingerbread and oh, the, the and gingerbread scene was great. It's hilarious. There's there's every good horror has sprinkling of comedy yeah. and levity, and this one is no different. It's such a great movie. But yeah, it it um yeah they're together at the end. But yeah, I guess it's like a dark. It's just like this is this is it. They it's don't. one of my favorite. I feel like that's Christmas the base. Movies. Like horror, like I did you could have is like everybody's still alive in a weird way. Yeah, no, Obi, you're right. They're, they're together. together. Hey, if there's when he throws them in that hole, it doesn't look like it's gonna be sweet and comfortable. It no. looks like it's gonna be, you know, torture and hell. Yeah. But it's just like they live in a slow go. It's like there's worse hells. There's worse. You got all your friends. Exactly. And he wanted his family. He got them. Uh, but yeah, the movie's so great. And uh, But anyway, yeah, you watch the movie. Um, as always, you know, if you have any uh, Christmas horror movies that, you know, uh, suggestions or any other horror movie suggestions, please do. Uh, this is our Christmas episode, so we'll, we'll be coming back again soon. Mm -hmm. And we just, yeah, we thank you guys again for listening. We thank you for checking it out. We really appreciate it. And we hope you guys have a very fun uh, holidays. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs>